Hey, it's the morning now, and just been for a run. And last night when we were at the uh, restaurant, um, there was a person that came in, and she was saying that she does vegan food, that she makes it at her, like at her house, and then she delivers it. Definitely get some food from hers. Uh, she mostly does lunches so that I'm aware of, and she do um, other meals if you give her plenty of notice. I think she does like some life coaching and things like that as well. I know there's a French couple around here who also do vegan food, like you come for like dinner at their house. The vegan food is not like in your face here. It's definitely a lot harder to probably like find at restaurants. Although many places probably could do, could probably could make something for you. Like if they got rice on the menu, they put some veggies together. Just really, I guess, depends on how accommodating they are. But like a lot of what I've been doing, as you see, is just homemade, um, homemade food. And then when I go to that one place, just a just little road down where we are. Food changes every day. He just makes kind of, yeah, if you requested something, he would make it for you. I had a look on Happy Cow. There's hardly any places. Um, in Las Terrenas where we're staying. But I did see on TripAdvisor that there's a, about six or seven places that were says they're vegan friendly. That's another thing I know, noticed that you can actually get pineapple uh, tree ripened here, which is really good. So second time lucky with the Sopadella, aka Jacob, aka Mame Sapote, aka it's got billions of other names. Um, it's a bit noisy at the moment, the kids have just had a party and there was a bit of some music playing but put the mic on it should be alright so this is the first time I've ever tried this fruit and um, you can't get it in New Zealand at home um, from what I've been told well, well I've never seen it and I've never known anyone to find any um, but yeah so I've popped down to the supermarket after that other failure uh, to see if I can get a much better one and this one appears to be ripe that one was hard, and then when you cut it, it was black, so that wasn't too good, so... Cheers! It's got a similar texture to a mango, but not quite as juicy. It's sweet, that's a good sign. Yeah, I like it, I quite like it. I'd imagine being one of those fruits, I don't know whether, you, you know, you could pick a bad one quite easily if you're not careful.